Hey folks, welcome back to Star Wars Hub, your next favorite Star Wars channel. They say that most of the good Star Wars games are from the past, and I have to say, they're right. As someone who played enough Star Wars games back in the days, I'm pretty sure that most Star Wars games are just straight up garbage. So here are our best picks for the best Star Wars games. Let's go! Number 10. Star Wars Battlefront 2 Okay, I might have talked big earlier about being an elitist, but hey, Battlefront 2 is actually a pretty decent game. After the massive protest of the players because of the microtransactions, EA learned their lesson and actually pulled the plug on their crappy business practice. You can't deny the fact that Battlefront 2 is actually a good game. It just sucks that EA was the one handling this gem of a series. But don't expect much, Battlefront 2 can't replicate the good feeling of playing the original Battlefront together with friends. Number 9. Star Wars Empire at War Star Wars Empire at War is an RTS game similar to that of StarCraft 2. The only difference in this game is that between these two great games, StarCraft 2 is a lot more interesting to play. Man, even if I still play the best EA game of all time, Command & Conquer Generals, and expansion, Zero Hour, I still think that if Empire War can do what Generals and StarCraft or even Age of Empires can do with the game itself, it can be as good as any RTS out there. Star Wars Empire at War isn't close to that, but there's a lot more to it than just a simple RTS game. Number 8. Jedi Fallen Order Okay, aside from the clunky combat mechanics, I think Fallen Order is pretty good. It's surprising how DICE can make such a good game, yet, oh wait, it wasn't DICE. Who made Fallen Order? It was Respawn. That's right, fellas. Respawn Entertainment, the guys behind Apex Legends, Titanfall 1 and 2, and it's no surprise how good the Fallen Order is, albeit the story isn't necessarily that good. Still, it's a pretty good game, and I can't wait to play more of it. Hopefully, we'll get to see more of them. Number 7. Star Wars Dark Forces Dark Forces is something that will definitely appear on this list. I stumbled upon this game when I was looking for something to play like classic Doom, but isn't Doom. I mean, don't get me wrong, Doom's amazing, but I was looking for something fresh. Dark Forces has a lot of new features that most games back then haven't introduced to the gaming industry. 3D free look, which includes the ability to crouch, jump, and look up and down, which Doom didn't do in the first place, but set the stone for others to follow and upgrade even further. Of course, when it comes to first-person shooters, Doom sets the standards. We can't really claim something that's widely known to many. Number 6. Star Wars Republic Commando Star Wars Republic Commando is something that has less main characters in the game. It's like a leap backwards for the team, which paid off pretty well. The game is well received by a lot of people, especially the PC gamers. This squad-based game really takes the spot as one of the best Star Wars games ever. For me, Republic Commando heavily reminds me of SOCOM games back in the PSP and PS3 days. The game doesn't feature Jedis or anything franchise significant, but it follows the story of the Delta Squad and their mission as part of the elite clone trooper group at the start of the Clone Wars. Number 5. Star Wars The Old Republic For thousands of generations, The Old Republic stood firm and grand long before the rule of the New Empire by Sidious and Darth Vader. However, the rule was far from something you could call a Republic. This is one of BioWare's classic games, which was made just for the best and the dedicated Star Wars fans. It's rich, full of lore, and one of the best places to start an EVE-like MMORPG. This game allowed players to be whatever they wanted to in the ancient galaxy, far removed from Disney's garbage canon stories. You can literally be anyone in this game. Want to be a Jedi? Good. Suffer to maintain the balance like you always do. Want to be a bounty hunter? No problem. Good luck not dying. Want a secure job in which you'll always be safe? Good luck being an Imperial contact. The story, as I've mentioned, is rich and unique. Each class has their own unique pathways, which are unique to their classes, making it feel like their existence isn't something generic or cloned. Number 4. Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader Rogue Leader is one of those games that are considered a luxury to some. Yep, I'm talking about myself. I don't own any GameCube consoles anymore, but my friend did, and I used to play one of these games using his rig. 
If you know this game, then be proud. Only a few gamers can remember how good this game is. I'm talking about Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2. Rogue Leader has some of the best in-game fights that merit so many events from the films, which is mostly behind a cockpit and driving areas of a lot of ships in the franchise. Die Hard fans wanted to have something like this, and they did have during the release of Starfighter Assault. However, that ain't gonna make them any better since it's been a really long time since the last good update. Number 3. LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga One of the best Star Wars games, LEGO Star Wars looks like it was made for kids, but I kid you not, it's made for both the casual and hardcore gamers. The game features around 160 playable characters, and they have some of the best lines in narrative. I know it's Star Wars, but sometimes you really need to take a break from all the seriousness in gaming. And to give LEGO Star Wars a go, that'll be something you'll never regret. It's a less stressful version of Star Wars, and you'd really love to miss such a great game. Honestly, if there's anything more stressful than the constant milking of the franchise, it's about not playing this game. Number 2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 no, we're not talking about the new one. We're going classic, baby. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is one of EA's greatest achievements in gaming. Star Wars Battlefront 2 had made many gamers fall in love with it. It's one of the best multiplayer games ever. Similar to Halo's multiplayer, it's a pretty fun competitive to casual multiplayer game. The galactic conquest and the overall multiplayer is arguably the best in terms of overall game mechanics. Number 1. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic In my opinion, Knights of the Old Republic is the best Star Wars game ever. It's compelling narrative, unique storyline, intricate RPG elements, and turn-based combat mechanics really hooked a lot of people, whether they're massive Star Wars fans or not. Bioware delivered more than what people ordered and can chew. Knights of the Old Republic is set in a very different time period, thousands of years before the canon movies even started out. It has everything from the old Jedi Knights, secrets of the ancient Sith following, and the Sand People being xenophobic. Overall, I can't really fit more than just a few words to describe how beautiful this game is. I'll bet that nothing can top Knights of the Old Republic in terms of overall design. An absolute 10 out of 10 in my list. Go on and play it, you'll never regret it. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Star Wars content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below what your favorite Star Wars game is. I'll see you in the next one.